This week we are back in Wales, North Wales to be specific, one of the most beautifully green countries in the world and definitely one of our favourite places to van life. We had teamed up with some mates for a relaxing and serene few days in the great outdoors. Yeah right, we'd come with Laura and after a lovely time paddling Lake Bala, she decided she had other ideas, mostly to include me cacking myself on the side of a mountain. We were attempting to climb the highest mountain in England and Wales. We were taking a silly route which was almost certainly going to see me plummet to my death. It's too edgy, it's too edgy, the butt is going. That was of course if I survived the drowning in the river first. This is Wales, as we have never explored it before. Seriously, forget how beautiful and stunning Wales is. It Every time I come here, it really is a wonderful country. Welcome back, everyone, and we are indeed in Wales. Now, I know we've been to Wales many, many times in the past, but this time we're very, very excited because we've arrived for the Welsh summer. As soon as that rain comes in the temperature proper drops <laughs> it does yeah you will need to bring clothes for all weathers if you're going to come to wales in the summer or the winter all, all types look at me now in a like proper fleece <laughs> anyway it doesn't matter that the weather's bad because we have been on quite the adventure already oh my god so many adventures some great ones some scary ones some butt clenching moment ones and um, one of the best things we have done in a while so while we wait for this horrendous uh, front to blow over we're going to take you back a few days time to where it all started on lake bala It's heavy. You ready? Yep. This is the front, right? <laughs> Barla Lake is a large freshwater glacial lake in Gwynedd, North Wales. It's fed from the River Dee, which has its source in the mountains of Snowdonia. It's a lovely place for a paddle, and you can either bring your own boat or hire them there. This was our first time in a Canadian canoe, and we were surprised to find it easier than expected. This lake is also a lovely place for a swim. Now, I don't know much about glacial lakes fed by mountain rivers, but I can confirm that this one it's flipping cold. Cold? Hi! <laughs> Is that cold, Laura? Fuck! Well, them two nutters behind me are getting absolutely freezing. I'm just going to chill out, take in the views and have a lovely time and let them be freezing when they need to come out. That is cold, Louise. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you're doing, actually. Not for it. No, no, I'm not. No. You know what I'm like? I don't know what moved that one. <laughs> it's too cold, isn't it? Uh, absolutely no idea what Emily is doing there, but we were soon back paddling across the lake, only to have our peace interrupted. <laughs> what do you reckon then, Em? I loved it, I did love it. That one here, go show him your head. Amazing. I'm not gonna lie, when they came over, I absolutely shit myself. I thought the boat was gonna go over, but awesome. I love it, I absolutely love it. <laughs> Worth getting in the canoe for that? I've got some really weird obsession with the, these planks, I'm telling you. After Bala, it was back to the vans for the short drive through the green countryside and pretty villages to our camp for the night. Even the campsites in Wales have breathtaking views. We were soon joined by more friends and it was time for the much needed campfire and food. Although Newt the dog had other ideas. Even the snack bandit couldn't save this burger's fate. <laughs> She's got a strong jaw as well. Stronger than AJ's. She's not letting go. Look at that one. <laughs> Look at that one. She's having none of it. Inevitably the marshmallows came out. Although this was some kind of weird northern version of s'mores involving bourbon biscuits. It's good, but it doesn't beat a chocolate digestive. <laughs> Two chocolate digestives. Two chocolate digestives, yes. Be honest, that's how you have them. <laughs> <laughs> Two at once.
that was Lake Bala and it really is a beautiful place. If you're in the area and you get a chance to visit, then go and have a look. The weather has cleared somewhat now, so we're gonna head off on a hike. Nothing too strenuous though. And nothing too high. No, all will become clear as to why as the video progresses. So Lake Bala was great, but we was looking for something with a bit more adrenaline on our adventure, weren't we? Oh yes, and this is the most fun we've had in such a long time. This experience was brilliant. If you get the chance to go and do this, then do it. Here's the footage, you'll see why. We were going white water rafting, and after completing the first challenge of getting into the bloody wetsuits. We were geared up and posing for the obligatory pre-adventure picture. We just needed to load up our vessel. And jump in the bus of doom. That would take us to the launch point. The next two hours were, well. No. To say we were having a blast would be an understatement. With going forwards now mastered, it was time for some of us to give going backwards a go. It was at this point I realised I wasn't going to die. I'd seen how much fun it looked sitting up front and decided I was going to give it a go. Now, before we watch Emily getting an absolute drowning at the front of the boat, I need to tell you about Matt. This is Matt. He was our guide for the day, and as well as being a great guide full of local knowledge, Matt was also a sadist. Combine that with his excellent paddle skills and he could keep you in the white water for quite some time. Myself and Jess got an absolute hammer in here, made worse for Jess by me ingesting, then spitting out half the river. As uncomfortable as I may look, this really was the best thing we've done in a long time, and in my opinion, has provided us with some of the most glamorous footage of me to date. Uh, moving on. With one run out of the way, much to our delight, we were to get another two goes at this, giving Matt ample opportunity to give us all a good soaking. This really was one of the best things we've done in a while, and if you ever get the chance and are able, then we think it is a must do. I in particular was having a great time. Being camera crew meant I'd been cruising down the river in the back of the boat watching everyone else get a drowning at the front, but it soon rolled round to my turn. Now, Matt had given us one piece of advice during our safety briefing that I really should have been listening to. That was, when the water comes at you, you hold your breath. When there's no water, that's when you breathe in. Advice which I immediately got the wrong way around. So this is me, literally drowning in a river somewhere in Wales. And here's Emily and Lindsay with their final thoughts. That was bloody awesome! <laughs> yeah, what do we think? So much fun. Could have got wetter, but uh, <laughs> you know, you can't have it all. <laughs> I cannot explain to you how how much fun whitewater rafting was. Yes, it was an awesome experience. I very much doubt the camera has captured just how thrilling it was. The screams might have given it away, so apologies <laughs> if your eardrums are a bit blown, but we all had such a brilliant time, didn't we? Oh my God, I just want to do it again and again and again. A huge thank you to the National White Water Centre, I think it's called. I'll put a link in the description. Anyway, this is not sponsored or anything, but they did let me film everything, and we had a brilliant time, didn't we? Oh, loved it. Uh, we've just walked along the river about 2K from where we're parked up. It takes you all along the... This little country walk, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Through the river, it brings you up to Bedgella or Bedgella, which is the town just over there. We're going to show you that in a bit because Emily's got a great fun fact for you. But first, at Little Legs, and by Little Legs I mean AJ, not this one, we're going to go for a walk up in them hills.
Wales really does have some of the best walking routes, I think, in the UK. They're so well maintained. And um, look at the backdrop. Stunning, right? Does look good, right? Oh, it does, yeah. Before we tell you about our most epic adventure, which is when we climb the tallest mountain in Wales, and I'm gonna call it a mountain because in a little bit later, I call it a hill, and some of you Welsh might be offended. I know it's a mountain, but I was calling it a hill for mental traction to get up the bloody thing. But we need to thank this week's video sponsor, which is Y Foods. Now, if you've been around a while, you'd have already seen this stuff. I am so excited because the fruity flavors are back. So I've got the mango. Emily's got the strawberry, you love that one, Oh my you? God, it's my favourite. In fact, I didn't get it on camera, but we just had about an argument about who was gonna have which, but they are both delicious. There's loads of healthy goodness in them. They've got 26 vitamins and minerals. Emily's gonna tell you the rest. They are high in fibre, got lots of protein in them, gluten-free, lactose-free, and no added sugar. They do a vegan range, and if not everything else is vegetarian, we really enjoy them. And for us, they're a godsend on trips like this where we're running around doing lots of stuff and we need to keep going and we don't wanna grab unhealthy snacks. This is just a far better option for you it's got everything in it that your body needs and it is a full meal replacement so it's not like a diet shake or anything like that it is a full meal replacement so you can just chuck these in your bag off you go go and do all the fun stuff you haven't got to worry about you know what you're going to eat are you going to eat right just grab one of these they're brilliant if you want to try them for yourself we've got an ongoing discount code i will chuck the link in the description use that code get yourself 10 percent off honestly try the fruity flavors Summer's day, like anywhere else but Wales, where it's really hot, they are so refreshing, aren't they? <laughs> they are. And even not, you can have them whatever the weather. And I don't know if you saw it, but even AJ fancies a taste. Right, shall we carry on? Yes, let's do it. We're refueled and ready to go. Now, before we roll the footage of us climbing up Snowdon, I need you to remember that I'm super, super scared of heights. And no matter how many times people tell me that the more you do these things, the easier it gets. Well, let me tell you, it doesn't. Because no matter how many mountain passes we've driven up, how many suspension bridges we've walked over, how many cable cars I've gone up, and how many zip wires I've descended on, It has not got any easier, but I am trying. Emily's not lying, she's very trying. Anyway, our day started on our Snowden day uh, for with a drive, a really beautiful drive from Bala, about an hour and a bit over to Snowdonia. Really lovely drive. If you ever get the chance to make this run, I highly recommend that you do. And then, yeah, we arrived at the park up to the secret path where Laura was gonna make us all take a gentle stroll up this mountain. We're about to go from 100 to 1,085 metres, so obviously more lunges were needed. There are many routes you can take up Snowdon, and as this was my first time, I thought we'd be doing an easy route. Nope, Laura was taking us up the secret way. I didn't know it yet, but I'd be going along this ridge. If you've been around for a while, you know we've been to Wales quite a few times now. We have. And I've always avoided that. <laughs> that is the biggest hill in Wales. I do not like walking up hill and we're about to take it on, aren't we? We are. I'm very, very excited about this, but I feel that I do need to stretch a bit more, I reckon. <laughs> more lunges. <laughs> more lunges. Snowdonia is a cracking place to go for a walk. The weather, for now, was on our side, and as we set off, the whole team, again for now, was in good spirits. so far look at the view it's awesome smashing it but we are only like an hour and a half in and so. it's gonna it's gonna get edgy i think and then you won't be loving it is, no. that, is it gonna get edgy laura oh yeah oh <laughs> laura you said it wasn't that bad <laughs> she lies don't stop Keep up with Laura's pace, otherwise we'll be in trouble. So 
we've managed to lose Laura. We've stopped for a little unauthorised rest break. Should we turn back and go? Just roll back down the hill. Yeah, come on, guys. Let's go. Bye. While these three were messing around in the back like normal school kids, it was starting to dawn on me exactly why I'd undertaken. I could now clearly see the ridge coming towards me and the sheer drop I'd need to not fall down. What's up, Em? I'm not going near the edge. It's too edgy, it's too edgy. The butt is going. I love the view here when it's all like this, but no edge. So no all that cultural confidence, Emily's just realised we've got to follow that ridge line up to the summit up there. <laughs> I just I want to go back down. Is that a nervous laugh? <laughs> yeah, I don't like it. So we started all the way down there by the lake, and yeah, we're just over halfway up to the summit up there. Now you can tell when I'm nervous because that's when I'm quiet. I'm just like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. We like it when she gets nervous because it shuts her up. That's not nice, Stops is it? Stops the abuse. Five oh. minutes piece for me. <laughs> You're so bold. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Now I just want to make it clear that the camera never shows just how steep things are, nor does it do it justice to how bloody windy it was up here. To say I was bricking it would be an understatement. I was terrified, my heart was racing and my hands were clammy, which sucked for Laura as she had to hold my hand the whole way across. I'm calling it revenge for dragging me up this way in the first place. I honestly didn't think I'd do it and if it wasn't for Laura helping me, I'm not sure I would have. But we kept going and after what felt like forever, I was across the ridge. Now this part's, this part's okay, but um, yeah, poor Laura has got my clam all say, over her. Did the clam, did the clam show its face? The clam did show its face. <laughs> nice sweaty grip. You did it though, you should be very proud. Yeah, oh, yeah well it was thanks to Laura, so. It's your head as well. Oh, there was a bit where I was like, I can't Laura, I can't, she's like, you can, you'll be fine. And how's the butt? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> The the bat it went it went past that point. It went past that. Yeah, it was. But we're nearly there now. Calf up yeah. the top. We we'll can have some snacks. I know. I need it. With Emily's challenge over, mine was still going. I don't know if you noticed, but I was pretty out of breath. This was definitely a tough climb and we still weren't at the top. When I finally did make it, I didn't have the energy for words. Although Jess summed it up for me pretty well. Fuck me. It's tough, but the view. Oh, and if you don't fancy scaring yourself half to death or inducing a heart attack, then you can always take the train up. I made it. Horrendous, absolutely horrendous. I'm not gonna lie. I am absolutely shit, shit scared. This is probably the, the biggest test for me mentally with heights. And I'm not ashamed to say that, yeah, I had to hold Laura's hand because it was horrendous. Um, I think Louise has tried to get it on the on the drone and stuff, but like this ridge here, that's what I walked across. And there was just parts of it where it just felt like it was so narrow. And with the wind coming in, yeah, I was I was scared, but I'm so glad I done it. But I'm not gonna be doing that, uh, that trial again for a while. <laughs> Let's put it that way. And Laura now knows that uh, she'll have to pick a few different routes for me on the next walk. <laughs> so that's like the rock part there. There's a bit of a queue to go to it, so I am going to chicken out because you've got to stand on the steps and it just looks a little bit too exposed. And do you know what? I've had enough adrenaline for one day, but yes, this is it. How amazing. Actually done it. That there is the ridge line that I walked across and now that my feet are firmly back on the ground, it was all right. Is it it wasn't. Really? It wasn't, no. Terrifying, but I'm so, so happy that I've done it. I'm so happy. So 
that was our mega hike up Snowdon. We're now back on our gentle walk. It has not been a gentle walk at all, has it? It has. <laughs> it has not. We have come up a fucking great hill. This is not what we needed two days after Snowdon, but again, Wales, you serve up the views. Surprise, we don't go together. But it took us a while before we figured it out. What a shame. I'm not asking you for closure. I just want it to be over. We don't need to break up if we were never aligned. Is that okay? I shouldn't be. Awesome, this one, isn't it? I know, I'm loving it. <laughs> what a hike that was! Oh my god, it was so so stunning, wasn't it? It was Norway esque. Now, if you ever come to Bed Gela, Bed Gela, however you pronounce it, and you're fit and able, I highly recommend doing the three mile it says three mile, it's longer the three mile loopula, loopula, circular, circular route. It will take you all the way up, all the way up along there, and then back down. It's very steep back down that forest over there. So it was very technical in places and it was very difficult with a dog on the lead and we can't let him off because he will go and it means he's pretty much dragging me down the hill so it's been a tough one isn't it? But oh you've had to work your legs. <laughs> yeah I've worked my legs. I have to go at his speed because it's just easier so I've been running back but 100% worth it. It was stunning wasn't it? Yeah definitely. Absolutely loved it and I feel really good after like needing to release the old muscles so it wasn't seized up too much. Yeah it's, um, it's taken uh, Snowden out of our legs and put bed jello lupula walk in. <laughs> Uh, we are pretty much back in town. We're just going to show you now Emily's cool fun fact because we are going to tell you a story of how this place got its name and then we'll show you the village because it's probably the prettiest village we've seen so far in Wales. Definitely. This is Gellert's grave, the faithful dog of Llewellyn, Prince of North Wales. One day the prince went hunting without the hound, who was uncountably absent. On Llewellyn's return, the stained dog, smeared with blood, joyfully sprang to meet his master. The prince alarmed because he couldn't find his son and saw the infant's cot empty and the bedclothes and floor covered with blood. The frantic father plunged his sword into the hound's side, thinking that he had killed his heir. The dog's dying yowl was answered by a child's cry. Llewellyn searched and discovered his boy unharmed, but nearby lay the body of a mighty wolf which Gellert had slain. The prince, filled with remorse, is said never to have smiled again and buried his hound here, and it is called Bed Gellert. It is a very sad story indeed. I'm not sure if it's based on a true story. I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say yes because there's an actual grave. If not, we're just going to believe it. In fact, yes, yes, it's definitely based on a true story. Right, we're quickly going to show you town. Do you love walking over bridges multiple times for videos? I do. Do you know what? It's my favourite pastime. Next bridge. There is another bridge. will to make it whatever she put her mind to. Late night hours up the hill, serving coffee to strangers, talking about revenue. It really is a stunning little place, isn't it? It is. Very, very quaint. Uh, there's not a lot to it. A couple of pubs and outdoor shops. Um... And there is a snack shack that sells dog treats and food. There is a snack shack that sells dog treats and food. There's a wood carving place with some beautiful wood carvings. Right, done in. Are you done in? I am done in. Let's get back. Back to the van. <laughs> She is such a good cat, isn't she? Oh my god, she's so good, but she is very hungry. Yeah, she won't be. She's going to be hangry because we're back late, but these last few days, she's so chilled. She just sort of goes with the flow, doesn't she? She's she like, does. Here you go, Martin. Hi, chilly. It's fine. It's not a problem. She's such a good van cat, actually. She's really adapted well to it, so we are extremely lucky, ain't we, Sammy? She's like, just shut up and give me my food. <laughs> she is, yeah. Okay, I seem like some little hose protection circle. I need to put it away. Sweaty feet. Lovely, need to air them out. Oh. 
We are done. <laughs> in Wales has defeated us, hasn't it? It has. Oh my God, there's just been so much to do, but I've absolutely loved it. AJ and Summer are both eating their dinner, which is what we're going to do next. We have had a wicked few days chilling, hanging out. I say chilling, it wasn't chilling. We was, it was action packed for parts. There was some chilling. We didn't film everything, but we've had a brilliant time here in Wales. I am shattered. I uh, know, I don't think I can talk anymore, honestly. My eyes, my feet. Yeah, I'm done. And it just goes to show, even though we've been here so many times before, we found something mm -hmm. new to explore today. So just because you've been to a country briefly, doesn't mean you've done it all. And we can't wait to come back to Wales again to find more hidden gems, can we? Oh, I know. I actually love this place. The more I come here, the more I'm like, oh, I'd move here. We're thinking about it. So thank you, Wales, for your hospitality. <laughs> um, thank you all for watching. It does mean the world when you tune in. Do the, what they got to do? Do the things. Do, do, the, do, the, do the bell, do the thumbs up and hit the subscribe. Press something and we'll see you all on the next one. <laughs> Bye.